Good morning everyone, I hope you're all okay. Today we are going to be looking at some more tricky words and writing some more sentences. Let's start with the tricky words. These are our tricky words. These are words that cannot be blended. We need to learn to sight read them. Last week we looked at I, the, to. We are now going to look at go, no and into. Go is tricky because it is not making the sounds that we have learned. The O oh is making its letter name sound, O. Oh. Go. Go to bed. No is tricky just like go. It has the O oh sound making the letter name sound, O. Oh. N, mm, O, oh. no. No, I will not. Into is tricky because it is not making the sounds we have learned. The O oh is making an O sound. Into. Jump into the pond. Now we're going to move on to the writing. We have to use our phonics knowledge, but also we need to remember the tricky words that we've just looked at as well. When we're starting writing, we need to make sure our words and letters are all sat on the line and our small letters are at the scared monkey and our tall letters are starting at the brave monkey. It's raining on the goat. Goat in the rain. That must be our sentence. Goat in the rain. I'm using a capital letter for the start of my sentence. I'm making sure the small letters are starting at the scared monkey and the tall letters are starting at the brave monkey. I'm using my finger to remember my finger space in between words. It looks like I'm running out of room, so I'm just going to carry on writing underneath. At the end of my sentence, I'm going to put a full stop. Goat in the rain. You can see I'm writing the next sentence. Oh no, there's some coins in the mud. That must be our sentence. Coins in the mud. Coins in the mud. It's at the start of my sentence, so I'm going to use a capital letter. I'm coming to the end of my words. I'm going to need to use a finger space in between. I'm running out of room, so I'm going to have to start writing on the line below. And at the end of my sentence, I'm going to need a full stop. Coins in the mud. Well done for joining in with the tricky words and sentence writing. Please can you send me some photos of some of the sentences that you're proud of? Bye!